All right, I'd like to now talk a little bit about pellets. Uh, we know pellets are a very important component of a rabbit's diet, and there's a couple of really important things to be aware of with pellets. The first thing that I always try to do is, again, think about what's natural behavior for a rabbit. A rabbit in the wild is going to naturally be what we call a concentrate selector, which means they're going to eat many, many different types of plant material based on what's available, but they're going to pick the food that is most calorically dense. The problem with that behavior is that when we bring them into captivity where they're not trying to survive, they don't need that extra nutrient, we feed them a mix like this, they're going to be allowed to pick out the things that taste the best, but unfortunately are often the lowest in fiber, the highest in carbohydrates, and even sometimes simple sugars. So looking at a real common muesli mix like this product, what you can see here is things like sunflower seeds, extruded kibbles that again are low in fiber, they're higher in carbohydrate. Unfortunately, sometimes they even have nasty things like artificial colors as you can see here, artificial flavors, but again, low in fiber. This material is not only correct, incorrect for their GI tract, but also again, doesn't provide the fiber that stimulates movement in the GI tract, and again, also provides that appropriate amount of wear and tear. A rabbit is gonna pick out the, the things that taste the best, but what they're not gonna eat is they're not gonna eat this component of the pellet. That is the actual fiber. That's the micronutrients, the vitamins and the minerals. So again, they're gonna concentrate select, pick out what tastes the best, and leave the things that are nutritionally most important for them. That is why we always recommend feeding a uniform pellet. With a uniform pellet, you don't have different shapes, different sizes, different textures, different tastes. So it doesn't allow that animal to pick out the things that taste the best. Unfortunately, which a lot of times, as I talked about over here, are nutritionally the most incorrect for the animal. No matter what bite they take of uniform pellet, they're gonna get the same amount of protein, the same amount of fiber, but most importantly, the same amount of those micronutrients, such as vitamins and minerals. Now, it's still very important, even with a high quality uniform pellet, to just feed the recommended amount. A high quality pellet is gonna talk about the right amount for age, the right amount of weight, the right amount for the species specific to that pellet. Choosing the right pellet, feeding the right recommended amount is the only way to provide the most highest quality nutrients as well as those micronutrients such as vitamins and minerals which are so important for rabbits.